What if I lose my charge while I'm on a date? Now I can't take a trip to visit the in-laws. Wait, that may be a good thing. This cannot be real. What is going on guys? Luke here today and I know a lot of you are all over every detail of everything EV related. But there are some people out there who have not dove into this quite as deep as some of you guys. So I'll give a quick overview as to what charge point is so we can get to the good stuff. I mean, you know, not giving you a 15 minute overview of the company by reading straight from their website to stuff more ads into the video should be enough right there to earn a like. ChargePoint provides a place for you and for businesses operating EVs to charge their vehicles. Now obviously this is a critical infrastructure piece for the EV revolution, but we will get to that when we discuss the stock itself in more detail. ChargePoint has been in business since 2007, so they were absolutely out in front of the EV revolution and are the largest provider of charging services. Like over 70% of the market, and they just operate in North America and Europe. They are projected to have over 165,000 charging stations by the end of the year and 2.5 million chargers by the end of 2025. So they are clearly ramping up as people start to switch to EVs in mass. That's it. Pretty simple stuff. But don't let the simplicity fool you. That's not why I think the stock will 10x. There are three big reasons why I love ChargePoint despite their recent run up in price. The first, it's not an EV car company, but the support that is required for the EV cars. Looking at the landscape right now, there are many, many EV car companies out there right now, with many more rushing to IPO the latest and greatest EV car company to compete with Tesla. And we're not even discussing all the traditional automakers who will finally figure it out to some degree. At least some of them will. Now, I'm not saying those traditional automakers will be great but they do have the infrastructure to expand their EV footprint better than most of the startups that are coming out right now. And the reality of the situation is most of these startups will fail or they're going to get sold to the bigger players in the end. Sorry guys, that's just the truth of what's going to happen. So instead of trying to choose the handful of winners of the EV arms race, why not put your money with a company that provides the necessary infrastructure needs for the winners of the race? That way, you're already a winner unless EV adoption just doesn't happen at all. And I'll take that bet if there's anyone out there that wants to bet that the EV adoption will never happen and it's just a fad. Please hit me up on Instagram and I'll happily bet with you. The second thing I love about ChargePoint, they absolutely dominate the charging market for now. As of right now, they own around 70% of the charging network. Now think about that for just a second. Tesla is the dominant EV player and it only owns 18% of the EV market share. So ChargePoint owning over 70% is just total domination. Now speaking of Tesla, they are ramping up their charging station network and that is a concern for sure for ChargePoint. But just like the EV car market, Tesla will not take 100% of the market. So I do not think Tesla's growth in the charger segment will take too much of a toll on ChargePoint. They just already have too much built out and too many customers already using it for Tesla to be able to just completely crush them all together. And having over 70% of the market share right now makes it extremely hard to be toppled down to zero. And the third thing I love about this stock, they already have a great customer base. Unlike many EV players and charging networks that boast about how they are in the running for a handful of contracts, or they have one big player or a couple of medium players. ChargePoint essentially has a who's who list of the biggest companies in the world using them. 62% of the Fortune 50, not the Fortune 500 guys, the Fortune 50 use them. These companies do not have to go with the cheapest bid and they will be able to quickly drop someone who's not performing. And unlike the competitors out there in their niche, they have an incredible customer base at this point in time. And looking at those names that we just listed off, Many will be rapidly expanding their EV network of vehicles in the near future, and my guess is ChargePoint will be their go-to provider for their charging needs, fueling the growth in ChargePoint stock. 
The first and most obvious risk is the stock has already had a massive move up the past few weeks. I mean, look guys, for the time being when these EV stocks move, they move quickly and like we have not seen before in the stock market. There can be no news, no catalyst, no rhyme or reason, and these stocks can triple in a week. And ChargePoint has been no exception to that rule. So it is possible that the big move has already happened and I can be buying a stock that is still in the speculative stage of growth, but I won't see the return I usually want when I take on speculative risk. Which leads me to the other huge risk involved with buying the stock. Now yes, just like I explained in the video here, it should pop up right up here, a bubble isn't a bad thing at all and actually is a great thing for a number of reasons and there is a fortune still to be made if you choose the right horses. So how will this bubble affect ChargePoint? I think ChargePoint will be one of the survivors and will actually thrive during the bubble pop and subsequent transition into the EV revolution. When a bubble forms, everyone rises. But just like Apple did in the tech bubble, some players are here to stay, others are just speculative and riding the hype train. And when you own 70% of the charging network, which by the way is the most important infrastructure piece to EV adoption, I would say you are more than just a speculative player who only has a PowerPoint at worst or a niche product at best with no real customer base. So given the fact that ChargePoint has the infrastructure in place to produce more and they are the biggest player in their niche, a niche that is critical to overall EV adoption, and I feel confident they are one of the front runners to make it out of the bubble and thrive. Now remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Do not listen to me. But how do I intend to play all this? Am I willing to buy now? What is the only way buying makes sense? Well, we will discuss the only way buying this stock makes sense in just a moment. But I do believe this stock will be one of the leaders in the EV revolution, and the leaders in each segment of the EV revolution will absolutely 10x or more in my opinion. And I think ChargePoint will be one of those leaders. But I'm also looking to buy this stock as a diversification, diversification of my Tesla position and my small NEO position. But on the flip side, this stock is also on an irrational run up just before the merger, making it not as appealing as it was a few weeks ago. As a matter of fact, it would not surprise me to see a highly on tight pullback just before the merger due to the over exuberant run up prior to the merger. So I will start adding small buys on red days and if we get a similar price collapse as we get closer to the merger, I will add heavily as it could be the last time we get that kind of a discount on this stock. But I must warn you, buying this stock only makes sense if you have a five year hold period or longer. If you are trading the stock and getting in and out, well, good luck to you, my friend. But if you are looking to hold for five to 10 years, I think this stock is going to make me very happy. So make sure you hit that like button before leaving and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.